Keith Mossback, the uh, CEO of USGIF. And uh, Keith, uh, we're more than halfway through the conference so far. How have things been going so far? Yeah, Art, we're really excited. We, uh, as I've mentioned several times, absolutely gratified by the support, uh, the way our companies, exhibitors, sponsors, attendees all stuck with us uh, through the troubles we had back in, in October. And the turnout here, the excitement here, the energy here is really gratifying after all we've been through collectively. I know walking around the exhibits, uh, it's amazing how the entire community has evolved over the past few years. What, 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 what are the things that you primarily notice have changed in this community? Well, I think, you know, I, I was at the, the first event, right? And so when I think back 10 years, what we saw was a small set of folks who were primarily involved in geospatial and geo-int. So you saw some imagery stuff, you saw some geospatial stuff. But what we've got here, right, we've got servers and routers and cyber. And so you've seen, uh, you know, you think about uh, Director Jim Clapper's vision for integration. It's playing out in this exhibit hall. It's playing out in the content of the event. This is an integrated event now. It may be based in GeoInt, but it really is multi-int. And that's exactly the way it should be. I know you and I briefly talked about uh, the older concept of future combat systems that the Army had, and uh, just looking around, it almost seems like we're getting there through the back door, aren't we? Yes, you know, I, as, as we talked about, I was involved in that uh, as the director of ISR integration on the Army G2 staff. So I was working FCS and the sensors and communications. And in fact, I think our vision was valid, but perhaps we weren't ready yet. The technology may certainly was not mature yet. And uh, you know, someone said something today that I thought was interesting is that you know, we've called this GeoInt 2013 asterisk uh, for a variety of reasons. And someone pointed out to me that there's technology in here today, in this hall today, that wasn't available last year. So if you think all the way back to FCS, right, uh, maybe we weren't ready then, but I agree with you. It certainly seems like we'd be a lot farther down that road now. Yeah. And I know uh, you announced the uh, time and location of the 2015 conference. We're going to be in late June 2015 in the Washington, D.C. Convention Center. We're excited. This is the first time we've been to Washington. And we think it's going to change the nature of the event, change the ability to draw people from Capitol Hill, draw people from other government agencies that haven't traditionally been able to come to the event. So we're really excited about the possibilities and figuring out how to sort of morph the event to fit the city. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.